So I'm sitting here with Kimberly, who is a very dear friend. I'm just going to tell you a little story. She has actually helped me and calmed me down um, through meditation, uh, ringing bowls, guidance, um, and, and classes, like 12 weeks of, of heavy, heavy, intensive classes. Um, because obviously it doesn't happen overnight. Um, it could, but it didn't for me because I was definitely um, rather troubled. So with that said, um, I had told Kim about Mupo Entertainment and of course she's gonna have her own TV show. Um, Kim is the most peaceful person I've ever met in my life. Let's put it that way. So Kim Lee, uh, we are very, very excited to have you become a part of Mupo Entertainment. Tell us, how old were you when you first started and when you first really knew that you wanted to do this? Well, Michelle, thank you very much for having me on the show. I'm happy and grateful to be here with you. Is um, When I... I just want to tell my history a little bit. When I was three years old, was born and raised in Vietnam. I have this, this, this just remembering. At three years old, I was really upset with God that he made me so little. I cannot help people around me. And every day I remember to say, God, I don't belong here. Take me home. Take me home. Because you make me so little. I cannot help people around me, so take me home. Anyway, that was my prayer, <laughs> complaint, whatever that is. And one day I have the realization that, you know, if I meant to be here, please, please give me a magic one so I can help people around me. And yeah, so you, did you did he come to you and did you see him? No, it's just in my imagination, in my vision, that I always talk to, to God, to, to the higher being. I call God. I call, you know, somebody out there that I always talk to. And I said, give me a magic wand so I can ding dong people to make them happy again. So that was my childhood dream. Fast forward, it's it, invisible. I feel like I have that within my highest heart. I've been practicing master heart healer for 28 years and I helped thousands of people to heal that heart. So thank you, Michelle. Well, no, thank you. This like, so Kim, your show is going to be amazing because you'll be able to help so many people who, like who are angry, who are confused, who are, you know, obviously disheveled with life itself. But when you were three, okay, so we're going to go back. So you were three years old. Yes. And you made this uh, decision with God. Yes. When did you start to practice it? When did you, what age were you when, you, when all of a sudden you just started to heal people? Yeah, at three years old, it just that the, the you imagine like the seed that I plant. Right. So when did the seed grow? Yes, the seed didn't grow until later years. But when I was young, I always used prayer. When I saw people suffering, I prayed, I prayed. So I left home when I was 12 as both people. I came to many destinations. I remember when I was at the concentration camp, there was a, a little girl. She was probably four or five years younger than me. She had malaria. And she was under my care. I helped her to heal. So that's the first uh, awakening that I have and the first realization that I have that I have some special gift inside of me. Okay, so you were in a concentration camp? Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Because we was the boat people. We left it. I left home when I was 12. Remember in the 70s? Mid 70s, the Vietnamese people left Vietnam, like both people left Vietnam. So I was one of those both people left Vietnam. Yeah. And I, and I was, put yeah. you in a concentration camp, though? 
Yeah, because we enter um, the the United States. The journey was very very long, but we was put in jail in Malaysia for invading that country illegally. So they put us in jail. Oh my God! Well, because you know we just invade their country. So anyway. I guess I'm going to reframe that, like refugee camp. Now we are in Indonesia, in Don... <laughs> I've been a long time. In... Yes, yeah, we was there at the ref refugee camp, and there's a girl named Wing Tai Wang An. She was under my care. Her um, The people who took her... With them, they left for America before and she had no one to care for. So she asked me as like a 12 years old girl to look after this girl, she had malaria. Wow. And I thought that she gonna die. The night before I dreamed that there's a rabbit that been injured with the arrow. It came to me in a dream to rescue. And what I did in the dream was I removed the arrow from the rabbit and I did the energy healing on the rabbit. So the rabbit healed and looked me in the eye with gratitude, tears come out from her eyes. Yeah. And it, it like thanks me in telepathy before I went back to the wilderness. When I wake up from that dream, I know that one will be healed. So that was... 30, let's see, 42 years ago, she left for America before me. To this day, I don't know where she is. I'd love to meet her. Wow. So that's when I knew that the, the, the healing in me is awakened. That was one of the, the, the experience I can share. Interesting. So you came here and then how, who trained you? Because you are you know, I've obviously under the Dalai Lama somehow, right? Um, no, Tetnya Khan. Okay, and they, and tell us a little bit about Tetnya Khan. Yes, so I, I consider I'm student of Tetnya Khan. He's a grand master. Um, he's a grand master. He's a Buddhist, um, Buddhist, what do you call that? Um, he's very highly respected in the same level as mm -hmm. that. Uh -huh. Would it be a monk? Uh, yeah. Okay, so, and, and monks, they don't talk though, right? They do talk, they do. Yes, they do talk. Are, yeah. are there any girl monks? Uh, the nun, you the call them nun? Okay. Yes. Yeah, see, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I think the guy monks that I envision, they don't talk, but that's amazing. So you were trained under, for how long were you trained under? Yes, the, the training wasn't that long. I was really blessed to be trained by him only a few times. Every time our grandmaster come to the state to give lectures, he would stop at our temple here in Mount Madonna, California. It's called the Kim Sung Monastery. That is our uh, temple that I go to. He would stop by and give us lecture. I probably uh, saw him three or four times, but I noticed the first time when I saw his energy, his presence, what he, he represent, I knew. I want to be like him because his integrity, his presence, his stillness, and peace, and innocence. So when I tap into that energy, I set the intention as I grow up and I grow, I want to be like our grandmaster, Tetya Khan. That's beautiful. And we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with Heal Your Heart. back. 
with the amazing Kim Lee, who is the healer of hearts and the peace healer in my eyes, um, which for those of you who don't know her, you will get to know her because she will be traveling all over the world and healing people. Um, I firmly believe that. And you're going to do that through Mupo Entertainment and you're going to reach billions of people. I, I know that. And I know that and I see that already. Now, um, is there anyone that you really want to reach out to that maybe you think needs to have their heart healed like a celebrity? Because maybe they'll listen and who knows, maybe they'll just come knocking at your door. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to add one more. My teacher, Barbara Brennan, she is the world renowned healer okay. and the owner of Brennan Healing Science, the founder of Brennan Healing Science. I love her. I, I train under her also. Thank you, Michelle. Um, thank you. I'm so happy and honored to be branded by the MUPO. I appreciate you. Thank you. No, we appreciate you. Listen, everyone here at MUPO has a, has a uh, intention. What is your intention with your show? Tell us exactly why yeah. you're doing it. The, the Heal Your Heart show, my intention, my mission is to heal one heart at a time. This is what I believe. When we heal our heart, we heal our life, and we heal the world. By us, align heart, my unity in that space of stillness. When we have inner peace, well, peace is achievable, just one heart at a time. So that's what I believe. My mission is to help others to learn to get to know who they are and also how to love in the right way, not to confuse worries, anger, resentment as love. So that's my mission, Michelle. That's a beautiful mission, and, it, and I can see you doing it. Now, um, I know that you have tons of students and I know you do one-on-ones. Are you gonna bring people on one-on-one -on -one and interview them? Tell us a little bit about what you want to uh, do with Heal Your Heart Show. Heal Your Heart Show, I will um, share with you the wisdom how you can heal your heart. And also I will interview my, my students in the past, how their life will heal and change and what have they learned to be in my presence. Um, that's how I want to share with you. Everything is possible. Wherever you are in your suffering right now, in your awakening, in your greatness, only a breath away. Allow me to help you to step into the light. So my intention is to use this show to interview my past students to share their awakening, their healing with you, to plant the seed of hope to the audience who are there, who might need more, you know, who, who are hopeless in their relationship, in their life, to plant that seed of hope of faith back into them and to have the new belief that they can step into their greatness. At the moment, they might not see the light, have the courage to reach out for help whether I can help them or somebody else, but do have the courage to ask at the first step and also self-awareness in order to heal their heart. I know, I know what you could do and I just can't wait to see people's faces when you, when you just change them. Um, it's just help them change to be a better person, help them change to feel more comfortable with themselves. There's people out there today that really need guidance and and I think it has to do with obviously the way that they were brought up right yeah actually there's five levels that they need to know oneself in terms of self-awareness the first level is the physical well-being within us the second level is emotional level emotional well-being mental well-being spiritual well-being and also financial well-being so if we can address this five levels by pillars within our life when it's in alignment our life will become magical in that way so i want to share that uh, little wisdom there michelle awesome 
And we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. with heal your heart um so i know we're doing this one as a little documentary what's your what's your next episode gonna what do you have going next i know you're filming and filming and filming but are are you yeah tell us a little bit about the next episode yes i i love to i'm excited to share with you the next episode i have is my interview with one of my um I would say him as a celebrity client from England. His name is David Nathans. He came to me um, to heal his physical imbalance. He was not able to walk because gout. I mean, he walked with a cane. And I remember he said, Kim, I'm seven plus years old and I feel young at heart and I feel embarrassed to walk with a cane. So what I want to help me to heal this. And also I want to leave the legacy behind because in my golden years now, I might not have much time to live. Imagine in 90 days, just our first session alone, he didn't need the cane anymore. He walked normal. Now he walked like one or two miles a day. And now in that 90 day, he also create the legacy. He finished his book. I have him share with you later, but he is a phenomenal um, individual who helped many, many um, artists, singer to become famous. I have him share with you later, but I'm excited to share with you, David Nathan. The, Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. The soul, soul music that he created. He's a Grammy nominee, right? He, he uh, have a chance to, he have a chance to, to get, the, uh, get that award. I think it may be um, next year, but okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's usually what they do. Um, so you're going to do that. I, I know you're going to do singing bowls too, right? I'm, I might play the singing bowl a little bit. Yes. <laughs> I think you need to, especially when a new moon comes out. Oh, okay. okay. That's beautiful. Um, yes. It's amazing how the energy from the bowls can actually heal certain parts of your body. Can you explain yes. a little bit about that? Yes. So, so see, the energy resonance is very, very powerful. See, in our voice, in our vibration, the voice that we speak, yeah. it have our own signature of love if the individual heart mind and unit unity they have love respect honor for themselves you can feel that energy in their signature of love is the vibration that they generate as they talk to you so with the crystal singing bowls or tibetan bowls because it it didn't have the emotional body like we are is only generate energy and frequency, when you tap into that energy frequency, I use that, that is the, the, the universal language in terms of that vibration, doesn't matter what language you speak, when you hear the sound, the vibration of the singing bowl, you can feel that divine love. So in that vibration, it touch every cells in your body because a cellular of your being respond to vibration and resonance, especially that divine love resonance. So thank you, Michelle, it healed to the depth of your cellular being, your heart, your soul. Yes, it bring you to that space of stillness. I love the singing bowl. And also there's a difference between the facilitator who play the bowls, because if the individual at peace it amplify the peace within that 
a facilitator. If the individual then have peace within themselves when they touch a bow, it will emanate whatever, you know, magnify the, their energy of the facilitator. So be mindful of who play the bows. Does it trigger peace in you wow. or something else? Wow. I can't wait for you uh, to come to get out. So you're going to be coming out. Um, uh, when when is your first ep- when is the first episode gonna launch? When do you when are you doing your launch? Yes, I can have it. Well, with your support, my show on your team, uh, I guess we we can have it sometime. The earlier will be, um, I guess, January. Yeah, heal your heart show with Kim Lee, the master heart healer. I love it. The master. <laughs> conclusion of Kim Lee heal your heart um so Kim we're going to be coming out in 2020 2022 it sounds so odd to say right January we're doing so yes we're going to premiere her show I want you guys to get on a list hit her up um she needs obviously people that we can put on right so please Go to mupotv.com and hit Kim Lee in the talent section, okay? Uh, request her, and then we'll get her the information. And, um, you know, obviously, you can be interviewed. But thank you again, Kim Lee, and you are amazing. We're looking so forward to your show. Um, and I know we're going to touch millions and billions and trillions of people. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. I'm so happy to be in the Mubo uh, family. I really appreciate you. Well, Thank, you. Thank you, everyone. I love you. Happy holidays. Thank you.